Hello, today's video is about something that's been bugging me for quite a while, and that's setting an inset shadow on a non-rectangular HTML element. First of all, let's see how we set an inset shadow in general. So we, we're going to have a div, and let's style it a bit, give it some dimensions, a width, and then a height, and give it a background just so that we can see it. And let's also set an inset shadow here. So that's a box shadow, inset, zero offsets in this case, but they can be non-zero. And give it a color. And yeah, we have this nice inset shadow. But how can we make this non-rectangular? Well, the first thing that we can do is set border radius to something like, like this. And this is non-rectangular, but we're pretty limited in terms of shapes this way. Border radius uh, can have this corner shape, and we can change the corner shape. I'll give it various values here. And uh, this gives us more different shapes. And in this case, if we were to set box shadow, an inset box shadow, or it doesn't matter, any box shadow would follow the line of this shape, the outer lines of this shape. We don't need any hacks or anything of the kind. However, this isn't supported in any browser and it's still limited in terms of shape. We can't get just about any shape this way. So uh, let's explore other options because this won't work. Let's try something like clip path. So clip path, and we're going to use a very simple polygon just so that we can illustrate concepts and stuff like that. Nothing fancy. So, um, this is our polygon, but we've lost the inset shadow. So, let's see how we can get a shadow for this clipped element. Box shadow is no good, because this is applied on the rectangular box of our initial element. So, if we have a non-rectangular element, a clipped element, box shadow is non -go no good. So what we can do is set a filter, something like drop shadow with the same uh, value. And this doesn't do anything because clip path is applied after the drop shadow. So I have my element, I have a drop shadow applied on it, and then clip path gets applied after and I don't see anything. So if I want to have such a filter on an element, I need to apply it on a parent. I can't apply it on the element itself. So here we can apply it on the body. And uh, as you can see, it works. But a drop shadow is not what we want. We want something that goes inside. So let's try something a bit different. Let's try something like blur. So, um, well, this got blurred, but... Uh, it's still not what we've been after. Let's try something like this. A blurred element and a bitten element inside it. And uh, here we're going to have blurred. And let's move this. Wow, that's quite a stall outside. Um, and here I'm going to have bitten and inside this bitten element I'm going to have these styles okay and what I can do here is on the body set a background uh, that's a blue so okay and if I could somehow clip this blue background to that triangle, then I'd have something that looks like an inset shadow. So what I can do is add another element and here I'm going to have bitten and outer and these two will be inside it. And um, my outer bitten element is going to get this background 
and as you can see now we have this nice inset shadow what about text so let's try that well no we get some dark blurry you can see it there you can select it as well but it's dark and it's blurry so it doesn't work this way what we can do here is uh, set this on a pseudo element on the outer so here i'm going to have after content and here i'm going to set position absolute but this won't do anything if i don't set position on its parent so that's going to be relative and here i'm also going to have a uh, top zero and left zero okay so now we have text but it's not selectable and we have three nested elements isn't there a simpler way well we could try using an svg filter so let's split this into sections so section and this is going to be inside it and then i'm going to have another section with an svg the filter shadow in and here i'm going to have outer and a bitten okay now for the filter i don't really know much about filters and i don't understand them much so i'm going to use some inspiration here so uh, here is from where I control the blur so it can be no blur or it can be a bigger blur and this is the offset which I'm not going to need for my demo I don't want an offset but I could have one um, I don't really know what these transforms do so let's try and see what happens if we replace them all with nothing so just remove them well nothing bad seems to have happened so uh, now I can uh, set this shadow blur here um, and then I need to invert it because otherwise the shadow is going to be uh, towards the outside it's not going to be inset And then I need to set the color and let's change that okay copy paste isn't fun but um, I'm no good with filters so oopsie it's kind of my only option in this case. And I think this is basically the last step. Okay. Okay, so I have um, this and I'm also going to set here SVG height 0. Now something else that I'm going to do here is um, for section I'm um, 
for the outer. I'm going to set filter URL shadow in. So um, I think that blur is too much. Let's try something like 13. Okay, it doesn't look like the previous thing. I can do something like this. And I think I can uh, add another filter and get a similar effect. Maybe exactly the same. Not exactly the same, but it's a similar effect. Okay. And um, something else I can do here is add text just here. And uh, it works just like that out of the box and it's a uh, selectable and um, I have fewer elements okay so this is better it's a better solution for now now can I have a transparent background on my clipped element well not really no um, it works for box shadow to have a transparent background and then you can set box shadow but in this case it doesn't work I need to have a background but I can emulate not having a background so let's see about that section and here I'm going to have the exact same thing okay and um, for this third section going to set um, a background, an image background. So I'm going to uh, take the background from here. So for this uh, section, I'm going to have something like this. And um, let's make this. And I'm also going to set this on uh, the bitten element. Um, and here it's a uh, slash in between. Okay. Now, here I'm also going to set the same background. So it kind of looks like I don't have a background there. Okay. So, um, Something else I can do here to just uh, set color to white so that I can see it. What about text? Okay, so uh, yeah, this is it. This is how you can have an inset shadow for an irregular HTML element, one that's not a rectangular one. So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, just drop them in the comments below or send them on Twitter. And until next time.